Exactly. <laughs> Eric and I were sitting next to each other when we went out for dinner with the cast and crew yeah. of the uh, program, and uh, the ill-fated program. <laughs> and at some point, Eric began to choke. And I was sitting closest to him, and I, I think I was the only person who knew you were you choking. You did notice. Thank you. That was very and nice. And I... I didn't want to embarrass you by hopping up and screaming as somebody a doctor or performing and I, a and I, and I didn't you. want and I didn't want to embarrass myself by revealing that I was choking. So we had this sort of unwritten agreement. Let's yeah. just stare at each so other. So I just stared at you and watched you turn different shades <laughs> of blue. That's right. Well you choked. Now at, at a certain point, like when you fell out of your chair, I would have jumped up you and yelled this I man know. is choking. That's right. But I just stared at Or Eric. you would have just taken my chicken off the plate and finished it and watched me die. <laughs> yes. So uh, that was our time in Pahrump. And uh, actually the good the, the highlight of the whole trip is well there was a funny moment. We were we were coming home. It was one of those things where I had had enough of Pahrump. I'd had enough of or Pahrump. I don't even know yeah. how you pronounce it. Uh I'd, I'd, um, yeah. I'd had enough of 130 degree weather inside a car that wasn't air conditioned. I'd had enough of Death Valley. I yeah. mean, Death Valley in August is absolutely brutal. They, as a matter of fact, we saw a couple of a uh, couple of cars they were testing. I think the BMW. I think they were doing that BMW. The diesel six, one or no? They were doing that six series, the crossover sort of. Uh, you know, not not the not the SUV, not the sports car, but that sort of I I right. saw that one. They were because you go if you're manufacturing a car, even a German car, you have to go to Death Valley and drive if it, to test the durability right. and the cooling system and so on and right, so right. forth. But it, it is so nothing can live in that environment. No. Not, not even Stromer's piss. My piss didn't even survive. So. <laughs> Stromer was driving around, by the way, for a while with the hood open on his That's car. That's right. Trying that to get was more our air. solution to getting more air and venting the the, motor. the car that was overheating. <laughs> but um, when it came time to leave, I remember thinking, all right, I've had enough Pahrump. I've had enough Death Valley. I've right. had enough of this shit. Right. Let's get the fuck out of here. And we gave the keys to the Suburban to Tanner Faust. Right. And I was like, Tanner... Do that Tokyo drift, baby. It was dark. There's nobody in Death Valley. Even cops won't go into Death no. Valley in August. And we just did 100 miles an hour. But but didn't you feel, I felt strangely secure having him drive. Because you feel yeah. the guy can be in any adverse driving condition and save our lives. The guy has spent more time sideways than he has That's going right. straight. He's a drifting champion. Right. So get, 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 get sick. So... He went, he went ape shit with the driving. We got out of Death Valley. Like, I mean, the guy said, <laughs> you remember this? We were in the middle of Death Valley, and, and I was like, what is the fastest way to get back to L.A.? Right. And we talked to one highway patrolman, and he was like, go that way and head toward Vegas. And then we talked to the other guy, and he's like, go that way and go toward Yosemite. Right. And they're both the same. They both patrolled the same area. Totally different answer. Totally. Both, one pointed one way, the other pointed the other way. Right. And then we all sat in the car, and we, like, argued about it. We are like, should we go that way and head toward, I guess it would be, like, Yosemite or right. something. Or should we go that way and head toward Vegas? And we went back and forth and back and forth, and eventually we just said, look, let's go toward Vegas because that's the direction we know, and that one cop said go that way. That's right. So we went toward Vegas, and, and Tanner Faust hauled ass. And we got to Vegas. And we got to, we not to Vegas, we got to like Barstow or something. We got to the Great Greek, and we got on to the, is De what is that, the 14 there? That, didn't we eat there? At the, at the well, we ate yeah, there yeah. because we had to turn around. Because of the traffic. We got onto the freeway, and the entire freeway was closed. And I was in one of those, I did one of those, if I can make it home by 8 o'clock, yeah. then I can watch The Sopranos, you know? Right, and it was right, one right. of those things, and we could just, and we'd made crazy time out of Death Valley. Like, they said it'd take three hours. We did, like, an hour and 20 minutes with That's Tanner's it. It crazy, was really fast. crazy driving. When we got on the freeway, what is that, Donnie, that goes to uh, Vegas through uh, Baker and everything? Is, that the, is it the 14? Is it the 14? 
goes through there. I've driven it a thousand times. I should know what the fuck yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. It's the 14 that goes through Area 51. <laughs> There's too many fucking numbers <laughs> in my head. Well, what, the one that goes by the Bun Boy and through Baker and by the Great Greek and all that shit. Great Greek was not bad, actually. I, I know. It. Yeah, no. The, uh, the 15? The 15. All right, there's only one off. Yeah, so we're on the 15. We're on the 15, and now it's like, all right, Tanner, we've made it to the 15. You've hauled ass. Now we're in Baker. It's 10 o'clock at night. We're going to make it home in two hours and 10 minutes now. We get on to the 15. It's completely shut down. Right. Utterly shut down. Turn around. Go back a couple of off-ramps. Go to the Great Greek and sit down and talk. That's it. What's going on? Right. Couple of truckers come in. What's going on with the fifteen boys? Yeah, two and hours up. They say. they're like two hours, uh, two, two five miles up the road. Tanker truck, right? Jackknife, jackknife, big rig, big rig, jackknife. <laughs> Bobcat and big rig, jackknife. So jackknife, all lanes closed. That's it. All lanes closed. Could take hours to clear it off. Mm-hmm. So first, I start cursing the cop. Yeah. That fucking cop, why did he tell us to go this way? We should have. Then I start telling everyone else, why don't we go toward Yosemite? This is what happens. We could have been out of it, but no, we went this way. So now we're stuck. And now we're all tired as shit because I'd be, by the way, the heat, like you said, it was like taking a light beating for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, yeah. And at a certain point, and uh, I, got a, I got a good rally gene, but at a certain point, after putting down a uh, gyro or hero or gyro, <laughs> whatever they, whatever those yeah. Greeks make, after that and a little uh, tahini and hummus, it's like you're on Thorazine. I stood up and had to do a move where I had to like steady myself yeah. on the table a little. Right, like I, yeah. I felt a little lightheaded from uh, the day day of 130 degree t- temperatures. Right. So I was like, God damn it, what the fuck are we gonna do? The freeways closed down. Someone was talking about driving back through Death Valley, and we're like, Nah, we're not gonna do that. And then some trucker said, you could drive through the National Forest. <laughs> yeah. And it was, like, it was like the Black Forest. Nobody goes that way. But you drive through that forest. Yeah, it's it. like National Forest. It wasn't really forest. like desert. You go through that way, and you can hook up with this other interstate. Right. And it, we were like. And it was pitch black. It was pitch black. And he's drifting around all the hair. And we were turns. like, look, well, either we can sit here in the Great Greek for another five hours and wait for the 15 to clear up or Tanner do your thing, do your thing baby <laughs> and Tanner just started driving through the whatever national forest I, I I I don't even know what it was it was pitch black yeah we were like catching air yeah I, my head kept hitting the roof every <laughs> so often <laughs> we were driving a suburban that had like four guys five guys in it loaded loaded with fuck thank god we got a few beers Loaded, Tanner wasn't drinking, but fuck that, I was going to have a beer. Yeah. Loaded, loaded with equipment. And I was sitting up front, and I could see that Tanner couldn't see over the next hill. Right. Like, it was just blacktop, and we are doing 90 and, like, catching and air. Like, two, three-inch air all the time. And it was like a rally, except for with no navigator. <laughs> like, I was like, Tanner, you don't know what's on the other side of this hill, do you? And right. I'm like, nope. <laughs> like, hauling ass. Right. So we just hauled ass all the way home, got on to the, I don't know what you get on to once you get to the other side of the National Forest, right. hooked up with that, Done. made it home like nine hours Sopranos. later. Pulled up, no, <laughs> we pulled up my driveway, it was like 2.30 in the morning That's or right. something. Yeah. Drunk, oh, heat oh, exhaustion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that shit never made the air. No, it didn't. But God bless the story, right? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Of it's like now we're Band of Brothers. <laughs> yeah. We've been to hell and It's an unwritten thing, man.